Good morning, folks. Bearded Servant here. I am headed out to the causeway today to do some incline training. Uh, it's gradual incline, obviously. You've probably seen before in my one of my last uh, videos on the causeway. I need to get in at least five miles. I'm just going to go back and forth on the causeway inclines and uh, get some mileage in from with my boots. I'm going to try out my new Injinji toe socks and then it's going to be putting up the fast fly system for the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2. Basically just the footprint, poles, rain fly. That way if you had to set it up in the pouring rain, you could set, set that up, dry off the footprint, and then put up the tent. So let's go. Good morning. So it's a bit over overcast today. There's the sunrise behind me. It's pretty. Um, I'm about a mile and a half, two miles in. And I had to put on my raincoat for just as a windscreen. It's about 50 degrees at the time of start, just under 50 degrees on this causeway. But when you factor in the cold, the cool wind, I won't say cold because the rest of the country is negative everything. But uh, with the cool wind, it's probably high 30s, low 40s wind chill, uh, which is not terrible. Um, but this thin uh, North Face jacket definitely uh, helps uh, keep the warmth in. So on we go. Just wanted to show you all the sunrise. Welcome back. So I did right at five miles today. It took me one hour and 43 minutes, something like that. Takeaways from today, shoulders are pretty sore. Definitely got to get some shoulder work in during the week. Uh, right foot, bottom of my right foot is just hot. Uh, I think it's the new Injinji socks. I'm, I've never worn them before, but I've never had a problem with Darn Tufts, so I may just try the Injinjis one more time and just switch back to Darn Tufts altogether. Who knows? Everything else seems pretty good. No uh, issues with any, you know, over heavy breathing or anything like that, but all in all, pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the tent setup. Yeah, so this isn't the tent setup yet. <laughs> it won't fit in the cab. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say, sitting at the red light here, I just checked. We've got, we've got 739 subscribers so far, which is sickeningly cool. I mean, that's awesome. We're averaging about 100 a week. And that's, I mean, I never thought it'd get to be 500, you know. So uh, keep sharing with your friends and um, family and uh, anyone you think might be interested. Uh, I think it's going to be, oh man, we are 62 days away from traveling. So it's going to be awesome. So I... I think of stuff and just start videoing because I love to talk to you guys. So, yeah, this channel's for all of us. So, thanks for being here. Hey, everybody. Bearded Servant back again. So, what I'm going to do is put the footprint down. Uh, everything's a little wet. It's kind of a damp day. But, uh... I'm gonna put the footprint down, put up the poles, then put up the rain fly. And they call it the fast fly system. I've done this once, one, one other time and uh, went together pretty good, pretty quickly. And uh, I'll show you the end result of that. And then I will show you how I put the tent up with the footprint and rain fly already down and up. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. I'm gonna use a hammer 
a little mini hammer right now because uh, out on the trail I'm going to use a rock. Uh, I don't have any good sized rocks around my house. <laughs> so I'm going to use a hammer, uh, but uh, just so you know, I'm not cheating. I just don't have a rock. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's go. Now this footprint is specific to the Big Agnes Copper Spur HBUL2. Each corner has clips that will clip the, I don't remember if it's the tent or the rain fly, I think it's the rain fly, clips directly to the footprint. Okay, so this is the footprint laid out. Each end has a different color. Orange at the foot box, silver at the head bot, the head. Now let's put up the poles. That is one thing I do like about this tent. The poles just fling together literally. I mean everything just falls together very quickly. As you can see, the poles went together very fast. And each pole has a little grommet it falls into, clips in. And next, we're going to put up the rain fly. One end is definitely wider than the other. You want to obviously make sure that the end that has this piece that the ventilation is at the head end. These clips, I don't know if you can see them, they're little clips, go into where the poles are. I'll show you in a second. After they all get clipped in, you can tighten them down. Where are you? There you are. With the straps that are attached right where the clips are. This is where I do put two more stakes out. One on each side. Again, I'll show you all this in about 30 seconds after I finish putting up the rain fly. Rain flies up. Okay, so footprint, poles, rain fly, all up. Let's go in and I'll show you the inside. Okay, so we are inside. 
basically, this is the fast fly setup. No tent. Now, if it were pouring rain, basically what I would come in here and do, the vestibules obviously are on both sides for the doors. I'd come in here, take my chamois or towel, what pack towel, whatever I have, and dry the footprint so that I could actually put the tent up with it pouring rain, whatever, and at least have some sort of shelter while I'm trying to put the tent up, you know, so the tent doesn't get soaking wet. So let's put the tent up and I'll show you the end result. So basically what you do have to do is in order to get the tent in the correct position, you have to take each pole out of the, the footprint uh, grommet and run both of them through the pole right there, okay, in each corner. And then you can start doing your clips. Obviously, you're going to do one clip at a time, but the tent, if it's pouring, you're, you're not getting, you're really not getting wet because you're under cover already. See? There is a cross pole that I have to put up still. Uh, it's difficult to film and put everything together here. Sorry. So all of the clips are in, and then there's a cross pole that goes across the top here. Okay, so there you go. There's the cross pole up above. It clips in at the top here. On the right side, it clips right here and right here, and then there's actually a holder for it up on the rain fly, which pulls it away from the tent so I'm gonna tell you honestly I love this tent it took me less than 10 minutes to put this together this is the third time I put it together and each time goes a little faster so these are headphone things looks like yep a pocket a big long pocket that goes across the entire head box area uh, there's also over here a pocket and over here a pocket both sides so man awesome tent love this tent this is gonna be sweet all right so I guess I'll leave you guys here feel free to comment down below I love interacting with y'all you know that and uh, hope everyone has a blessed week uh, happy new year because we only have today and tomorrow and then it's on to the new year and 2018, buddy. Yeah, so happy new year. God bless, and we'll see you next time.